this is pretty funny. Um, I had this thing filled, well, filled up level an hour ago. These guys are going crazy for this pollen. We've had a lot of rain and um, I guess any flowers that are around, they've totally washed out. It's funny, they dig out all of the uh, soft stuff and I didn't run this through like a blender, which I probably should have. I figured I'll just crush it after they dig through all the soft stuff. I mean, they're lining all over my head, face and arms and camera. But um, yeah, I guess I really need this pollen right now, but um, this is really kind of cool. I don't think the camera can truly capture just the coolness of it all. Maybe a National Geographic camera, but not a dinky little phone camera. Even though this phone isn't exactly so dinky, but it's still cool. And hold that thought. And over here, this is how I started this morning, just to see if they needed any pollen. And they did. This was filled. Now they're left with only this, uh, like the hard, sometimes this pollen substitute, pollen, fake pollen patty stuff, it turns uh, plumpy. And the bees have a hard time getting it, collecting it, I guess. And so if you kind of crush it, make it into powder again, so I'll collect these. You can see them fight, fight, sort of fighting with the little granules. But this is how it started this morning. And uh, there's one other thing. Here's the other thing. Mm -hmm. These guys are going crazy. This is uh, actually syrup. I gotta turn the can. Or wait, I gotta light on my head. I don't know if you can see their little red um, abdomens. Today's flavor is straight sugar, but it's colored with uh, kind of a high concentration of red dye. It's kind of funny. You see their little red bellies. <laughs> And they are just going, and they they drank I guess about two gallons in less than an hour. And you can tell when the bees are get close to starving. I checked on some hive, or a hive that I have in set in the south, and they uh, they weren't doing so good. So I started feeding them, and. Um, yeah, I think it's time to start feeding them a bit if uh, the hives are low. And my hives here are all right, but they could certainly use a little bit of uh, topping off, let's just say. Even though our winters are can be mild, they can go on for quite a stretch with uh, out any warmth for the bees to forage. And even in winter, if they do forage, they just burn through the their uh, honey faster because there's nothing to forage unless I put it out, which I will do for them. But anyway, this is cool. This is just all bees and these little floaty things. Actually, rather loud, and it's just from bees flying. Anyway, that's that for today.